Hey friends, the Chef Wainaina, beans are one of my favorite uh, things to eat at home. I grew up eating beans. Today I'm sharing this very simple recipe of three beans, cannellini, pinto and kidney beans served with a side of rice, a recipe that you can do on any day of the week. For this very comforting bean stew recipe, I'm using pinto, kidney beans and cannellini. So first things first, I got a colander, open these beans. You can definitely use dry. Check out my recipe on how to make kidney beans from dry beans on my channel. When buying canned foods, especially beans, check out for the salt content. These are low sodium. So drain them off. This water is definitely usable, you can save it. I'm just going to set this aside. Now for the aromatics and the vegetables to go with the dish, I have some carrots, peppers, cilantro, some cilantro stems. I get a bunch of spices here that will also go with the dish. To serve with the beans, I'm gonna make some rice too. And then we have some tomato sauce, tomato paste, a lemon juice to squeeze all the way at the end. Definitely do not forget salt and pepper. A good time to go start cooking now. Into this pot, add some cooking oil. Add the onions and saute until they get some color. Once the onions have slightly browned, add garlic. Green chili, I'm using jalapeno. Saute these for about 30 seconds or so, just so they can release their good flavors. Slightly reduce the heat. Add the spices and toast it so slightly. Coriander, cumin, Paprika, some dry herbs, oregano, dried thyme. Tomato paste. tomato puree or you can use whole tomatoes diced bring the heat back up again cook the tomatoes the onions and the spices for about 10 minutes or until the oil starts to separate Loosely cover this. Once you notice this separation of oil and the tomatoes, the onions, it's a good time to start adding the rest of the ingredients. In goes carrots, peppers, orange and green. You can use any colors that you have. It's also a good time to add cilantro stems. I'm a big fan of using cilantro stems for starting the cooking, saving the leaves for finishing and garnishing. I enjoy beans. I grew up eating them. You know, we used to eat them so frequently. Cover and cook for about three to five minutes just to give the carrots a head start. Remember, our beans are already cooked. Add the beans into the pot. Saute 
season with salt and pepper. A good amount. Add water just to cover the beans. Bring the heat all the way up. Lead on. Cook until all the vegetables are cooked through the carrots, the peppers, and the beans have slightly softened. We will reduce the heat and cook on low medium. Now, as the beans continue to simmer on the stove, I will prepare two cups basmati rice. I have a bay leaf, some onions, lemon, and some garlic. First things first, rinse this through cold water three times until the water runs clear. As the beans continue to cook into this small pot, add some vegetable oil onions and start sauteing to start the rice. Some salt and pepper. Just slightly sweat the onion. We are not looking for any color here. Quickly add the garlic. Add the rice. This is two cups basmati that I washed and then that soak. One bay leaf. Add about one and three quarter cups water. Bring this to a boil and then cover, reduce the heat to very low, cook for about 15 minutes. Now, Open these beans and see how they are doing. They've been bubbling here for quite some time. Add some cilantro, a good amount. Just a touch salt, black pepper, a squeeze of lemon juice. Give this a stir. Now, to give these beans a body, we need to thicken some of this sauce. So get some of the beans here. And then using a ladle, just press them and then return them back into the pot. I like to do that whenever I'm making beans. This is a presser that you can also use a blender. Now return the mashed beans into the pot. Give a stir, incorporate everything. This gives the beans a nice body, some thickness. And these beans, they are ready to go. This is a step you can definitely skip and then just enjoy the sauce as is. But this gives it just a nice body. To so just put the lid on, Let's wait for our rice. Our rice timer just went off. So open this. Get in with a fork and give this a stir. Just fluff it. I added aluminum foil because this lid has a small hole here. This hole lets out steam and the idea for rice is to trap in the steam. So there you have it, our delicious three bean stew. Mm. And of course the fluffy basmati rice back here. Mm. Now some rice into this plate. You don't have to mold it, but it looks good some cilantro on it, some of these beautiful beans, some more of these beans, some of this beautiful sauce. Mm. 
some cilantro or you can do parsley and there you have it So there you have it friends, a very easy to make bean stew. I used three beans today, pinto, kidney beans and cannellini. You can use any beans of your choice. You can even cook these from dry, it's just going to take a little bit more time. Uh, watch my video on how to make kidney beans, I have it on my channel, I will share the link uh, down below. Uh, so thank you so much for watching this one. I hope this is a recipe that you can try at home and you and your family will definitely enjoy. Hope to see you in the next one. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Leave me a comment down below. What do you think about these beans? Thank you, see you soon. More beans. Mm -hmm.